Hi guys, uh, Todd with Prairie Land Bushcraft here in uh, Great Lakes Bushcraft. Um, gonna do a quick video on how I modify these uh, little 12 centimeter uh, zebra billy pots and uh, thought I'd introduce you to the uh, shop of sanity. <laughs> this is where I do my work and uh, kind of keeps me sane in these days. So here we go. Okay over here I keep my larger tools chains for keeping the kids in line. Just kidding. Uh, various hand tools. Get, keep my clamps up there. A uh, little distribution for for power and a switch for the overhead light. Uh, lovely old vice I inherited from my grandfather recently. It weighs about 50 pounds so it does its job very nice. Uh, here's a billy pot I'm going to modify. Uh, various pieces of antler I've been making into fire steels my uh, 4x36 uh, belt sander more old kit uh, so on and so forth all my hardware is up here for the most part not nearly as organized as what appears uh, oh my one safe queen the uh, Tom Brown tracker I use in the sand video is, is up here now for the mess uh, lots of different pieces of kit in progress, a small water stash. But uh, this is the the shop of sanity, and where I keep uh, my tools and so on and so forth. And uh, so, like I said, I'm going to do a quick shot on your video on these billy pots. Please forgive the camera work. I work solo here. So the idea is. We have the lid, which is pretty much bulletproof. We have the small bowl, which these are standard in all the, the belly pots, except for I think if you get larger than the 16 millimeter, I don't think you get the inner bowl. Uh, but as you can see, it's it's a solid bottom on this, and the 12 centimeter bowl itself. Uh, these little clamps are made of plastic. And the first time you put that over a fire, they're going to melt. And they're going to bind up on this handle. The handle itself is okay. It gets the job done. But there's just a little divot and a very stiff, straight handle. And quite often it will uh, work itself off of a pot hook or something along those lines. So what we're going to do today, A, we're going to remove these plastic tabs. They just come right off. Keep them if you want to. They don't damage themselves when they get pulled off like that. But as you can see, it gives you a nice little set of holes there. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a mesh line for the bail pot in there. We're going to remove this handle all together. I'll do that in a different part of the video. I'm not going to bore you with uh, and, and annoy your ears with Dremel tool noise. So that we're going to set up here for now and put the plastic tabs back in the box. Now on the bowl, uh, a lot of people will use these as a double boiler. I have never really found the need to do poached eggs or, or uh, anything in the field. But what I do like to do is use it for steaming veggies. And uh, hard to do because when you do seat these things, it's pretty airtight. You can almost lift the bowl up with the vacuum it creates. So it's a, it's a tight fit. It's hard to get steam up there. Is the bowl, the lid, fits in the top small bowl. This whole thing nests into that. So steam doesn't get there. They get hot, they don't get steamed. So what we're going to do, and I've already done this to mine, but it's in my pack and that's where it's sitting and will stay. Uh, we're going to add holes to this. And I generally use an old egg beater type drill. I like using traditional tools if I can. Uh, just for expediency sake today, though, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm going to use a standard electric drill. And uh, I'm going to use a 3 16 inch bit. I think that will, uh, will actually be a, a better size hole for getting these things steamed a little more quickly. And I can put in fewer holes that way. So I'm going to move that from the old egg beater 
a lot of times on my wood projects, like I said, I'll use the egg beater. I use DeWalt. Uh, tungsten bits. They're not cheap, but they're straight when you get them out of the box. You don't have a, a screwy, wonky drill bit not drilling a straight hole for you. So they're worth the investment. And for bigger projects, I use an old brazen bit uh, that I got at a thrift store uh, for about 25 bucks. I was prepared to pay well over 100 for a complete base bit and um, brazen bits up, but for $25, you can't beat it. And you can use them out in the woods. So, same thing with the egg beater drill. Uh, quite often, if I go to a scout camp and I'm planning on doing a project, I'll take the, the egg beater and the bracing bits. Don't have to worry about trying to pull a 300 foot power cord out into the, into the scout camp if we can. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. Modding the small bowl, modding the handle, and uh, I'll make some progress on this and then I'll show you. Hold on. <laughs> 